But when Lockup visited Kentucky State Penitentiary, we met Fleece Johnson, a longtime inmate who practices a very different kind of homosexuality. But we have sexual desires, right? So you got a bunch of men locked up in one place. All of them get hard. All of them's horny. All of them got sexual desires. So what are they going to do? You won't let them have a woman. They're going to have each other. Somebody's going to have to give us some booty. And it's just that simple. <laughs> the most uh, memorable story that Fleece told us was about the place and importance that booty has in a maximum security penitentiary. And he went on about it and on about it. In his prison, booty. Booty was uh, more important than food. Booty, a man's butt. It was more important, <laughs> I'm sorry. It was more booty, having some booty. more important than drinking water, man. I like booty. Johnson went on to tell our crew how he used to satisfy his sexual desires, especially during the 1970s and 80s, when he was most active and prison security was more lax. When I see one, and he looks good to me, when I go see him, I say, you come here. I say, I'm telling you what, uh, I like you, and I want you. And uh, uh, we can do it the easy way out of the hallway. So the choice is yours, right? And it was always yes. Johnson also had a warning for the new generation of inmates. They might be asking for trouble from old timers. You know, they got this thing where they sag their pants, past their butt. It's a style, they call it some sort of gangster style. You know, it's sexy to us, right? And see, but they weren't prepared for this, right? So you say your pants in her, man, somebody be up in your butt, you know? And it's just that so. Johnson even let the lockup crew know that when he was in his prime, they wouldn't be safe from his advances either. If y'all had been in her back then in them days, and as much as I like booty, I probably felt one of y'all butts, and y'all was walking past me, and dares you to say so. I'm not no shame in my game. This is nothing that I'm ashamed to admit. I am what I am. I'm a warrior, too, you know, so let that be known. I'm a warrior.